Oh, hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite fellow Earthling here, Austin Hires. Thanks for joining in on my channel, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe down below because you're probably gonna want to. I'm the most awesomest, cool, super awesome, fantastic, everything you've ever known on planet Earth. So when you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you know that you're getting the best videos on YouTube, guys. And uh, I did this all on my own. Had no help at all. All on its own. <laughs> and yeah, I did it all on my own and I got these guns right here, guys. I want to be bigger and better than any other YouTuber on the planet Earth. I'm Frick telling you, this is... This is something I did all by myself. Clown, bro. And Boy, bro. oh my. Bro, you hear this joker? He looks like King Tut. <laughs> and I, uh. Oh, yeah. And, uh. Followers lost guys, I'm right here! People! I don't like it when you say people don't love me! Only 30% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed? So like and subscribe down below if you love my content, which I know you will, because I did it all by myself. JK, JK, fellow Earthlings, I had a lot of help doing this. My wife, kids, my employees, my family members, all of you guys, my wonderful subscribers. Thank you so much for hitting the like button, hitting that subscribe button, being a part of the channel, being part of this family, and uh, growing with me. If you've been growing with me since the beginning, you've seen that I came from little to nothing to a lot of something. And 2,000 subscribers is nothing to balk at. So thank you guys so much. I'm just doing my best every day to push this channel as hard as possible right now. So all my subscribers out there that are loyal, thank you so much. If you could share and like the content as much as possible, it really does help boost the videos. And that's what I need help with here. Also, the 70% of you that are watching my videos but haven't hit the subscribe button down below, it is super important, not only to me, but to the YouTube algorithm. It's not just something someone talks about to get more subscribers, it's a real thing. They have an algorithm that calculates how many likes your videos get, how long people are watching your videos, and all this good nonsense. I just wanted to put that out there to all of the people watching my videos that haven't subscribed yet. Please consider subscribing. I do my best to make you laugh. I do my best to inform you and show you how to make money at the same time as learning myself. I'm an entrepreneur and I get out there every day and hustle. I'm consistently looking for other things to invest into and do to make money because that's who I am. I'm an entrepreneur and if you like that, subscribe down below, follow along with my journey. I'm doing my best to make a million dollars by the end of 2021 and I think we have a good chance of doing that. What's up fellow Earthlings? Today we are going through a couple of jobs. I'm here with Paul. All right, we're gonna get out and go knock on this customer's door uh, and check out what they have for us to remove. We'll show you guys basically the whole day and uh, we'll let you know how much money we make at the end of the day. So stay tuned. Well, hey guys, we sold the job. Uh, I believe we're gonna get maybe like 375, three quarter load out of it, something like that. Uh, we're pulling the truck up, it's straight back there to the shed and then straight out here to the truck. So not too bad. Um, the customers are gonna be going through the stuff with us, so I don't know how much I'm going to be recording. I'll get as much as possible, but we did sell the job and we're gonna go ahead and bang it out right now. So stay tuned guys to see, uh, to see the rest of the day. All right, thanks. All right guys, we're gonna get these doors open and we're gonna be walking from here to there and back over here probably about 50 times before we get this job done. If you're thinking about starting your own junk removal business, guys, just get started.
What's up guys? So we finished that job up. We got a full load out of that job. This is the load that we uh, just finished filling up. We brought it back to the office here so that we can take um, our freight liner out with a, another empty container. So that's a, uh, that's a perk of having different containers that you can swap out, guys. If you go do a job and then you have several extra jobs that day, you can um, save the time of going to the landfill for at least one of the jobs if you go and swap it out. Today we only have these two containers to work with. Um, the rest are rented out and two of them actually I'm working on a, a lawsuit suing a dude for crushing my dumpsters. So yeah guys, we're fixing to head out to the next job so stay tuned to see what that is. Uh, so far today we did a, a 375 drop off for a dumpster and we did 475 for a full load and I think we have two more jobs in the system. I'm having a good time out here, haven't been out in the field for a little while, and uh, I can't get my mind off of how much money I've been making in crypto and how much money I've been making in stocks lately. Uh, and, and really guys, I've been learning that um, I want more passive income. What's up guys? All right, we're here at the job in Orlando, and uh, we're removing these water filter majigs here. So one tip of the day here, guys, the customer called and they sent us a picture of these. It looks super easy, right? They said they were empty. They are not empty. These things are still full of coal and salt and chlorine and whatever they put in here to clean the water. And uh, so yeah, they're really heavy and um, they already paid the price over the phone uh, because for some reason, I guess that's what we're doing now. But yeah, don't take the don't take a payment before before you do the job. Unfortunately, my wife, who was the office person, took a payment of 275 on this when really, in all reality, this is a full load uh, of 475. And um, so we're gonna have to call back and try to get our 200 bucks now. Hey guys so we just finished that job up and we are headed to the next job we're not even gonna go to the dump because we think we can fit it all or rather I think that I can fit it all and Paul's just going along with the ride so yeah uh, we just got fiberglass like all up in our arms from picking those things up so yeah if you guys are picking up some water softeners make sure you don't grab them and give them bear hugs to pick them up because fiberglass is gonna get in your arms apparently yeah we're on our way going to the next job we got to pick up some wood uh, appliance like a stove and then a um, water heater and that'll be the last job I believe stick around to find out hey you guys we just arrived at the next job the last job um, Paul is just Paul is up here knocking on the door so we'll see if we can get him to answer hopefully they're here and uh, we're gonna check out what they got to remove on this side. okay so this right here all right, we should be able to easily throw that outside. Got garage right. door motor. The there. Okay, so the garage door motor needs to be gone. Uh, yep. All that wood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, not the wood. It's okay. The that metal black track. All right, so we sold this job for 475, and this is the load we already have in here. So we're gonna try to consolidate and fit everything they have uh, in here.
Okay, as you can see guys, we've got this whole area cleared out here. Little boxes that were right here, there's bags all up in here, and we got the old fence panels, everything in that container. So we're all good. So it is currently 6.58 on Saturday morning, and Isaac is supposed to be here at 7. He should be here early like every other day. He already has one strike on the list, and if he's late today, we're gonna put two strikes down. Sorry, Isaac, but that's the way it goes, bro. So we're doing a thing, basically three strikes, and you get a week off. After that week off, if you're late one more time, you're out of here. And exactly like 30 seconds later, there he is at the, at the front gate. Now I gotta grab my key and let him in. So he's on time today, and we don't have to give him a strike. All that all right guys so this is the rv we're going to be doing an estimate today um the first thing i like to look at over here is the hitch and see if everything works properly which looks like we're going to need some wd to get that thing even moving so yeah that's going to need a little work before we even try to hook it up um over here the tires they look like they have pretty good tread, I have to, uh, I have to say, um, but the tires seem like, I don't know, I don't see any cracks, honestly, I don't see any cracks like dry, uh, dry rod or anything. We may be able to get these tires pumped up and get this thing hauled out of here just like this. Um, the next thing I like to do is look at the axles down here, look at the axles and just make sure everything looks like uh, it's you know nice and straight, not like falling off or rusted out. Um, so that way you don't have any trouble when you're going down the road. It looks really good down here. So, so far, this looks like a pretty easy removal. I'm going to take a look at the inside, if I dare. Okay, so, ugh, it smells like asshole in here. There's a lot of stuff in it still, so I have to see if they want to remove everything in it. If you can take some pictures, uh, Isaac, of what's in there for me. Yeah, no problem. Um... Okay, yes, you don't have to step in there, just get, put the camera in there. All right, guys, so everything uh, looks pretty solid. I mean, it doesn't look like it's gonna fall over when we're, <laughs> when we're driving with it. Uh, the integrity seems to still be there somewhat, so that's something to look at as well. <sighs> everything up front looks pretty solid. Uh, no really bad rust at all, so. Our plan with this trailer is to basically uh, remove it and then have someone else come and take it from our house. He's going to destroy it and turn it into probably a car trailer or something like that. I'll get on the phone with him today and see if I can figure that out. But so far, so good. I think the uh, both sets of tires look good on this thing. Let's check out the other side real quick. Yeah, these tires look pretty much the same. I don't see much dry rot and uh, looks like we could probably just pump them up to the right PSI and haul this thing out of here. The basically, yeah, that one tire is like kind of, yeah, well we could get that. We, we basically have to, uh, on that side, we'll have to jack the trailer up and then we'll have to get the, get the, uh, the bead, you know, yeah, the bead to be back on the, on the rim. So yeah. that we might have a little difficulty with, but even if we can get this, one tire pumped up here i think we can get that we just have to play around to probably take the rim off um if i have to take the rim off take it down to the shop and have them fix it there and then bring the tire back i'll do that so yeah they're actually both of these have the bead broken so if we have to take them to the shop and get them you know aired up that's fine but everything looks pretty solid here, guys. So that's what we like to look at. Um, not too many things here that I'm worried about. We'll be able to haul this thing away. I just have to find the, the dude that's gonna buy it from us for maybe 50 to 100 bucks, and then uh, go ahead and turn it into like a car trailer or something like that. All right, guys. So we're back from doing that estimate and check it out. Here at the office, it's pouring down rain. And we've actually got nothing to do for the rest of the day. 
So we're probably just gonna call it an early day, maybe play some games and hang out. It's Saturday, you know? Look at that rain though, that Florida rain, boy. Woo. What are you guys doing today? What's going on right now? Comment down below. Yeah. <laughs>